I want you to think of a moment in your life when you achieved something amazing. Picture the joy that you felt and consider how it would feel if your closest loved ones didn't react to your happiness. Or if you were going through a rough patch and they showed no empathy or care about your pain. This emotional disconnect, while cognition and memory are intact, is like a flutist who plays with precise finger movements, yet neglects the vital act of blowing into the flute. This is what happens in frontotemporal dementia, a form of dementia that leaves the memory intact, but strikes at the very core of our emotional behavior. The way emotions are assessed in clinics heavily relies on subjective reports which often leads to misdiagnosis of these patients with psychiatric disorders. Beyond misdiagnosis, relying on subjective reports dismisses those who can't accurately express how they feel, or those who are simply unaware of their emotional symptoms. We desperately need an objective, accessible approach that provides the most accurate estimate of emotional well-being. I study patients with frontotemporal dementia because unlike psychiatric disorders, there are clear, measurable changes in their brain structure that can help us understand what exactly happens in the brain that leads to changes in emotion. Changes that impact our entire body because emotion functions like a conductor, orchestrating the precise moment each instrument should come into play. From the rhythm of our hearts and flow of our breath, to the expression on our faces, they all must harmonize perfectly to generate the appropriate emotional response. We have found that our patients respond to emotional situations with irregular heart rate and facial expressions. Remarkably, the degree of irregularity in facial expression is directly related to the volume of their brains. This means that analyzing the way facial muscles move has the power to serve as a window into the body's internal state to the level of predicting the structure of the brain from the face. Imagine a world where a simple FaceTime with your loved ones can help with early diagnosis of dementia. With this type of metric, we stand at the precipice of a revolution in emotional assessment. Just like measuring and monitoring the blood glucose level in diabetes, we aspire to measure and monitor the emotional behavior to maintain the orchestra in tune and keep the music going. Thank you. Thank you, Faith.